today I'm going to show you a very, very healthy option, rice paper rolls. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you a very, very healthy option for lunch or you can have for dinner or even on the go as a snack. And they are of course rice paper rolls. So these are gonna be homemade. I'm doing chicken rice paper rolls today and I'm gonna add some veggies in there too. <laughs> So you can't have rice paper rolls without vermicelli noodles. So what you need to do with these ones is you need to soak them in water for 15 minutes till they go a bit transparent and drain so they look like so. Just getting rid of all the water there. So vermicelli noodles are really, really low calorie. They are great and really filling, very volume dense too. Also got a lettuce, capsicum, carrot, and also some roast chicken, which I just got from the supermarket. So I just shredded that up. So that's gonna go all in the rice paper rolls. I'm going to grate the carrot. I'm going to chop the capsicum and I'm going to de-leaf the lettuce. So as you can see, the veggies are nicely cut. So these are going to go into the rice paper rolls quite nicely. So next step, we are going to get our rice paper rolls out. We're just gonna fill a bowl with water. So get a big bowl because you wanna put the rice paper roll in there and you also wanna soak it on each side. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a station set up. Got my veggies, my chicken, my rice paper rolls, my noodles, and some water. So I'm gonna take you through each of the steps. So first, grab a rice paper roll. What you're gonna do is you're gonna soak this in water until it becomes quite loose. You're gonna go each side. I like to do it each side as you can see. So make sure you pat it, keep it in there for about 10 to 20 seconds each side. And then once that's done, best thing to do is to put it on a flat plate as so. So from there, you're gonna add each of your ingredients. So I like to start off with lettuce and you're gonna add it to the center. I'll add about two strands of capsicum in there, some shredded carrot, also some roasted chicken, of course. Add some noodles. You can cut these noodles to make it a little bit easier. As you can see, they are quite lengthy. And then is the rolling process. This is the most difficult part and you can roll it however you want, but I like to roll it two sides in and then start from this side and then come on in. So it looks like, so there you go. There's one rice paper roll and we have a lot to go. So let's get rolling. Now you can also use whatever vegetables you want. I like to use these. I also sometimes like to use cucumber in there as well. You can also add some hoisin sauce in there too. But as we're being calorie friendly today, I like to kind of just add my own sauces at the end. So guys, we have rolled our rice paper rolls and you can see we have plenty there to share. If I was to eat one as a snack, I'd usually go two. Lunch would be about three as well. So per roll, there'd probably be about 10 grams of carbs. Uh, 10 grams of protein and about two grams of fat in there. There's very little fat in there. And you can also pair this with some sauces as well. As I said before, I left the sauces out of the roll just because I like to maintain them in the fridge for about three days. But you can also have them with sriracha, which is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites is the I Am Thai Sweet Chili Low Calorie Sauce. This one is great, it's got very little calories, in it compared to normal sweet chili, or you can always pair it with the normal hoisin sauce, which is what you find when you go to restaurants and have rice paper rolls. So guys, you can put any filling in this as well. Like I said, you can also play around with beef, prawn, tofu, tempeh, everything like that. Some proteins and just some nice vegetables in there as well. This is very calorie friendly. Hope you enjoyed this one guys and bon appetit.